So just jack the car up, got axle stands. I'm back to drain the engine oil now. Dirty guys, if you have a look at it. Damn. So every time I go to GSF parts, they give me the wrong oil filter. This is way too big. Way too big. So guys, this is what the engine oil looks like. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be servicing the cheap Vauxhall Corsa I bought from BCA Auction. So I've prepped the car yesterday, I've um, machine polished it, washed it, hoovered it um, and today we're going to be doing the servicing and getting it up for, for sale. So we have a few things to do today anyway guys. Um, so I'm on my way to GSF Parts now. So I'll see you guys once I arrive at GSF Parts. Another cold day today, better put the heating on. I've just arrived at GSF Parts. About to go inside and collect the parts. So I'll see you guys once I get back. So guys, I've just popped to Ranjani's to get some gloves and microfiber cloth. Just arrived at my unit. If you can see that Lamborghini Euros over there. Just opening the shutters. All right, guys, I'm just about to pull the courser out. So today I'm gonna sort this out. I've got the double-sided tape with me and we're gonna give the car a service. Today, let's see if the car's gonna do the up and down rev thing that I was talking about. Right, it doesn't seem to be doing it right now. So guys, I've got the jack out. I've got, this is what I used, this, this is what I put my engine oil in. So I'm about to jack the car up. So just jack the car up, got axle stands. I'm about to drain the engine oil now. I've got my little hand underneath to catch the engine oil in. So, I'm about to drain the engine oil, guys. All right, guys. I am now about to drain the engine oil. Wish me luck. There you go. And you got a little bit of oil on my hands. But the engine oil is draining out. Oil is still draining out. While that's draining out, I'm gonna be doing the fuel, no, the oil filter. This is the new sub plug. So I'm just gonna leave that there. All right, guys, I've put a little microfiber glove there for spillage I'm now taking off the oil filter cap I did think there was a bit of yeah this oil needed changing definitely just get this oil filter out. <sighs> yeah, this oil was dirty, guys. If you have a look at it, damn. Damn, that was dirty. Still a bit of oil left in there, so I'm gonna have to try and get that out somehow. But I don't. I don't know if you guys can see, but this oil looks muddy. Like it looks like brownie color, which should not look like that. So 
I'm about to clean this off, change the seal, and try and empty out as much oil out of that as I can, and then put it back in. I swear, every time I go to GSF Parts, they give me the wrong oil filter. This is way too big. Way too big. So they need to give me the right one. So I'm gonna go back, guys, and, and return it, and I'm gonna try and bring um, the old one with me, so I can get the correct one because that one's too big. So it always happens, always. And I put the registration in, so I'm gonna have to close the unit, pop out, and then come back and finish this off. So irritating. So yeah, this is the one I have, a skinny long one and they've given, they've given me a shorter, fatter one. So I need to go get the right one. So the shutters are now closed. I'm about to put the GSF parts and return this part and try and get the correct one. All right, so guys, I'm on my way back to GSF parts now. It's so irritating. Um, see that Lamborghini Urus, they're so nice. So irritating. Every car I've done, they've always given me the wrong part. Oh wow, it's went right to me. It's freezing, guys. Absolutely freezing. I bet you're wondering why is he doing that? My car is low, so it always scratches on this bump. So I have to go at an angle. Back at GSF Parts again. Just got some petrol on the way. Just need to get the part out. Yes, guys, got the correct one, a skinnier, longer one. So let's get back to the unit and fit this part. All right, guys, I'm now back at the unit. All right, time to put in the new oil filter. Get this on there. Just gonna tighten it guys and I'm gonna put the sump plug in. So I've just put in the new sump plug. Let's have a little look at the engine oil. So guys, this is what the engine oil looks like. So, let's get that covered up. And move it out of the way. Let's get all the tools out of the way, lower the car down, and put in some fresh engine oil. So guys, I've got this to help put the engine oil in. So I'll be back once the engine is filled up with fresh oil. So the engine oil is all filled up and it's time to give the car a start. Let's see. Engine sounds perfect. So 
So now guys, we've got to tackle this. This is the next culprit. And let's just get that done, get the photos taken. And then the car is ready to put up for sale. And we'll take it for another test drive. We'll just see how it drives. There you go guys, just stuck that down with some double-sided tape. About to take some photographs of the car now and list it up for sale. All right, so guys, quick walk around of the car. Just taking the photographs to list it up for a sale. So all right, YouTube, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and help me get to a thousand subscribers. And yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching.